Hi guys, good morning. This is Faithful with Elegant Celeste. Thank you so much for joining me on another Tuesday morning coffee. I have coffee, tea, breakfast, a quick encouraging word, and a haul. Now this breakfast is in honor of Mother's Day. So Mother's Day is on Sunday and I must tell you it creeped up on me. I didn't realize it was Mother's Day next Sunday, but I will embrace it and look forward to it. So happy Mother's Day to all of you that are watching. And I hope that you will share the video and say happy Mother's Day to all the women in your life that is a mother. I truly believe that every woman I come in contact with, even if they are not um, a woman that has given birth, I still consider them as a mother because there is someone life that they are impacting. And I think one of the most amazing thing that God has given to us as women is nurturing. You know, um, I believe that a woman's role as a mother is so precious in nurturing that a father can't do that. A father can definitely love, but it's not like a mother's love. And so I'm so grateful. Happy Mother's Day to my mother, to my mother-in-law, to all my best friends, and to all of you women that is a part of my life that watches the video, that supports me, that is just such a pleasure sharing with you guys and just have, doing life together, having a relationship. Yes, even if I don't know you personally, it feels like that at times when we communicate. So thank you so much and don't neglect leaving me a comment, communicating and let's stay connected. So before I get too excited about Tuesday morning coffee and tea sharing, let me share my breakfast because this is in honor of you guys. This is a huge breakfast. Actually, let me put my coffee down. I felt like having a mint coffee today. I don't know why. The Dollar Tree have, uh, during the holidays, these little um, mint candy, and I bought a, quite a few of the bags and kept them. Mmm, amazing. That is so good, guys. And this is my Cuban coffee that I brewed this morning. And as I was making it, I just felt like I'd like to have a hint of mint in there. And it's really good. As a chef, I'm always thinking of how can I improve something? How can I make it better? What can I do to make it different? And so this is my breakfast this morning. This is a avocado, spinach, mushrooms. Um, what else is in here? Cheese, bacon, ham, omelet. And so I just felt like I wanted a big breakfast. And of course, my little cookie for a treat and some grapes. I am going to take a bite. And I said this is in honor of Mother's Day because usually I try not to have too much of a big breakfast. And because we spend time on Tuesdays, I do try to get some breakfast in once in a while. And I go by, you know, it depends on the day when I wake up. If I feel like it, then I will. Let's see. Got a runaway mushroom. Mm. And I forgot to mention, I have some salsa, some fresh made salsa. I know I say that every time. My but it is a word for today. When I think of Mother's Day, I think of what a great opportunity to be a giver, a nurturer. And I also see motherhood as 
a commitment. I see it as though I often tell people that marriage is a commitment. And I see motherhood as a commitment. You are committing your entire life to be there for someone. You're committing to be there, be a part of someone's life for as long as you live. And so I see motherhood as a commitment, a marriage. I mean, you say the same thing when you get married. You're committing your life to this one person. So it's the same for me as being a mother. And even though I love being a mother and I love nurturing and loving on people and on my children, I want to encourage you not to lose yourself within that. First and foremost, you are a woman. And I want to encourage you this Mother's Day to stop, embrace that, acknowledge that in spite of all the roles you play, a mother, sister, friend, wife, daughter, every single role you can think of, do not get lost in that. Stop and embrace that you are a woman and this woman, no one can take care of this woman unless I take care of her. So I want to encourage you to take care of yourself. Do a me day. Find something that brings you joy. If it's having a cup of coffee, sitting back, taking a deep breath, relax and know that you've gotten one day out of the year that you have an excuse to pamper yourself, to nurture yourself, and just be. And I think that that is what I am choosing for myself this year. I oftentimes take times for myself because I do each, um, every other week, I do a me day for myself. I try to take care of myself. And so I just want to encourage you guys to do that if you're not already doing that. Embrace that you are a woman first and all your other roles will come up under that. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, I am going to share with you my haul. So last week my husband and I we flew out to Michigan and our son Ryan is graduating and well he graduated already but he was graduating and so we went there to spend time with him and to attend the graduation and it was a blast it was so good and he says I have to share with you guys he says after he graduated, he says, from this day, you will address me as Mr. McKenzie, the MBA <laughs> graduate. I'm like, that's how you want me to go around addressing you. So I said, okay, MBA graduate, Mr. McKenzie. So we are very proud of him. And if you're watching this, we are very proud of you, Ryan. And we can't wait to see what God is going to do in your life and through your life. So continue being a blessing. Guys, let's check out my haul. So a, a quick story. I know I was going to tell you a quick story before, but <laughs> let me tell you this quick story. So we were in Michigan and I got my email that Steinmart was running their sale. Well, the sale ends on Saturday. So it was for Friday and Saturday. It's 75% off. And if you spend over $30, you get an additional $10 off. Now you can split that sale in two. And because I had my husband with me, we were able to do that as well, two separate purchases. Well, we weren't coming back home in time for me to get the sale. 
So I started to Google, where is there the closest Steinmark? We found one an hour and 30 minutes away. So my husband's like, no, we're not going an hour and 30 minutes away. So I said, yes, we are. So we ended up at Steinmark, and so I was able to catch their sale. So I wanna share that with you right now. Now, there is good news. Because it's Mother's Day week, well, Mother's Day weekend, uh, starting Friday, there will be another sale. I'm not quite sure how big it is, but the 75% will definitely still be a part of it. So I found a few things that I really liked. And I love this because of the sleeve. How adorable is that? Definitely can do that with some jeans. I've been watching this and they've had it in since Christmas and I really liked it but I didn't want to get it because it was $79.99 at the time and I knew they were going to go down so they went down to $39.95 and an additional 50% off so with that I was very happy so I hauled that and I want to also give you a hint that shop out of season, that's your best deal. And it's not so far away. Just purchase it and put it away. And so I got this dress, which I absolutely love. I think it's adorable. And that was $24.95 and you got 50% off of that, and keep in mind, you get an additional $10 off. Okay, so I think this is the best buy of the day. How adorable is this? I love it. So this was $24.95 and 50% off. I'm trying to make it quickly. This is, of course, a turtleneck or a mock neck. Well, it's actually a turtleneck. It goes all the way up. And it's a beautiful gold. And it was $4. $4.42. And I was jumping on that deal. This one, $24.95. And I love the shape of the bottom of it. Of course, it's fall. No worries, it will get put into my fall put away. And it was 24. I don't know if you can see that. 24. 95 and of course, you get that discount. Now, I fell in love with this because I just thought it was so unique. It was different. It's a mock neck or a turtleneck. I keep saying mock neck, but it's a turtleneck. But it has a long tail in the back and it's short in the front. I thought that was adorable and it's opened. It's not a shirt, but you can wear it as a shirt because it has its own sleeves. How beautiful is that? I love it. I can see a long, beautiful necklace on that. So that's my haul for today. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I truly appreciate your time, your support, and happy Mother's Day. I hope you do something wonderful for yourself this week and be a blessing to your mother and to others. All right, guys, I hope to see you later on today with a DIY. I, actually, I do have a DIY that I'm getting ready to do for you and you don't want to miss it. It's a gift that you can give to your mother or a really good friend. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you later on.